Hey folks, so I'm now day five without my Facebook account and I have a few more things I want to share with you today that I found interesting. They all happened yesterday. Um, the first thing is one of my friends has decided that she now wants to try to delete her Facebook account. Um, she's not sure how she's going to feel about it or she's actually going to go through with the whole idea but she just wants to see how long I guess she can hold out um, that and she told me the only real reason she's on there is because there's some game that's only ex that's only on Facebook so I find that kind of interesting that's the only thing keeping her there <laughs> so um, you know pretty interesting again that some people just have it for the exclusive features or whatever um, so that's pretty interesting uh, the other thing that happened actually was I was talking to a group of people and a lot of people were oblivious to this timeline. These are the people probably like me who had their privacy settings on lockdown and you know maybe had not heard about it. So when I explained this to them, they were you know there were some people who knew about it and were like, well, I'm keeping my profile the same or my profile hasn't changed. Um, and then there are other people who just didn't know anything. So when I told them uh, that on the first of February that they're timeline is going to be there whether they like it or not they started flipping out and I really asked them like where have you been like this has been all over the news I don't well not maybe not all over the news but where I've been getting my news it has been um, so again I find it kind of interesting so people are really oblivious to this and you know what's gonna happen those of you who still have a Facebook is people are gonna be writing down their walls and on their status updates like oh this is so stupid Mark Zuckerberg is making me upset because he's um, changing the Facebook layout again. I'm going to quit. Well, I know a lot of you will say you're going to quit, but the question is, are you actually going to do something about it this time? Um, that's kind of part of the reason why I'm doing this experiment. I'm very against this, and I'm taking a stand, I guess. I, there may just be one person, but that, that's okay with me. I know what I'm doing, and I'm not going to lie again. Like I've said a lot of the times in the past, I'm feeling great about this whole thing. Um, it's very le There's less stress. There's a lot of you know, positive implications for this. I'm way more productive than I was with it. It was just a kind of like a, almost like a, a distraction that was always there. I had to check it every, you know, anytime I was working on homework or writing my books, it's just, I had to click that button just to see if somebody was there or if somebody liked my status updates, really. I don't know why I thought that was so cool. It must have just been something I was used to. So the final thing that I'll talk about in you know, you can call me a nerd all you want, but it's another communication theory that I learned about a couple of years ago that I really feel is relevant to Facebook and this whole experiment. Um, this theory is called cultivation theory. Um, now, the basic idea with this was in the late 1960s, there is this guy named Gerbner, and he wanted to study the effects that media or like television at that time had on people and this is the basic idea of cultivation theory is if you're overexposed to television um, or exposed to too much of it you know per day or per week or whatever it'll actually start cultivating real world beliefs so let's say you're watching law and order all the time or just some some like crime show you start actually thinking that oh that's gonna happen to me like I'm gonna be the next victim or you also get the misconception that police are so good at what they do that they'll get they'll get the murderer in a day which never happens or maybe two days whatever um, it doesn't happen that way so you know just kinda wake up <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll understand if you know you're the unfortunate enough to get into that situation um, but what I'm wondering now is on Facebook, and I'm sure a lot of you can vouch for this, a lot of people tend to spill their guts. Like, essentially, it can be like the worst thing ever. They could be having a really bad day and they're like, oh, my life sucks and oh, I hate this. And they just like complain on there and like, you know, all their friends jump on and, um, you know, support that. Like, you know, just again, like I kind of mentioned it before, adding fuel to the fire. Um, so what I'm wondering is if you're a user on Facebook who is constantly exposed to let's just say this like negative energy of these people that you're friends with all having like terrible time all complaining and stuff do you start wondering if the world really sucks <laughs> like I know parts of it uh, you know parts of the world sucks like things about it and I know there are a lot of things going on that 
make us unhappy, you know, the economy the way it is and America and everything like that. So, you know, it's really interesting. Um, so I guess I'm kind of curious to know if Gerbner's theory can be applied to Facebook. I think it can. Um, I'm not really sure right now if I could do something about it, but if I get my PhD, yeah, definitely a viable experiment that I'd like to try. Um, so I'll, you know, that's just something to think about. Really think about it. How often do you see people complaining? What is your general um, thought of the world itself, you know, after being on Facebook for X amount of hours a week? Uh, it's very interesting stuff. So really, that's all I wanted to share with you today. And um, just keep me posted. I, I haven't really received any comments or anything yet. And I'd really like to know your guys' thoughts, even if you think I'm crazy and that you need Facebook. Just tell me. I don't care. Um, and just keep watching and, you know, again, share this with everybody and let them know how I'm doing. I'd like to see, you know, so obviously some support would be nice. And um, I want to see that people are actually getting this. So, all right, um, I will keep you posted. I'll see what's going on either tomorrow or the day after. So talk to you guys later.